okay. So, Tina, you going out for cheerleader? That's exciting. Yeah, at wrestling matches, cheerleaders are only 10 feet from the action. When things get sweaty, that's the splash zone. I, I don't know. Isn't cheerleading kind of, well, silly? Plus, do you really want to get splashed by that? Yes. Oh. Don't you? <laughs> what are you talking about? Cheerleaders help the team win by jumping around and touching their toes and asking if you're ready, and then they say, okay. And they whip the crowd into a frenzy by spelling words. W-O-R-D-S, words. Lynn, you're talking like you were a cheerleader. What? I was. Well, my best friend Monica was. So I was right there in the entourage. People were like, hey, let's go to cheerleader practice. And I would be like, okay, I'll drive you. Tryouts are today. I didn't want to tell you guys till I felt ready, so I've been practicing in my closet. Tina, do you really think you're the cheerleader type? Bob, be supportive. Come on, what cheer are you going to do for the tryout? Let's go ignite the Wagstaff team as dynamite. Okay, we're ready. Let's hear you do it. I just did it. Oh. Oh. Of course you did. Tina, honey, if you don't make it, it's okay. In fact, sometimes cheerleaders are not the nicest people. What? My friend Monica, one time, she ditched me at the food court to hang out with other cheerleaders. Ugh, I had so many free samples of sesame chicken, I can't eat it to this day. You ate sesame chicken last night, man. I know, but I didn't like it. Damn you, Monica! Oh, my God. Okay, Jean Louise, why don't you go to tryouts to support Tina? I'm sure she could use it. Oh, okay. No I'm busy. By the way, with a cartwheel, are your hands or your face supposed to touch the ground first? Actually, I'll make time. Bob, here come the kids. I'm sure Tina got bad news. Just don't overreact. Why would I overreact? I'm the one who thinks cheerleading is silly. Listen, you can be a little insensitive. Just follow my lead. Tina flew too close to the floor and hit her face on it. Swollen tongue. It was so much easier on my closet. Oh, my God, sweetie. Oh, your poor tongue. Who cares if you didn't make dumb old cheerleader, right? You know what? They can... Oh, God, how this crazy, wonderful thing happened to us? Shh, just take it in. <laughs> I'm a cheerleader, Mom. Oh, I can't stand it. Um, obviously, your mom is very proud. Uh, just like she's proud and sensitive about all you kids. Right, Lynn? What? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Tina, you want to suck on a bag of frozen peas or something? Yeah. Okay, here's your lunch, girls. Oh, Tina, for your lunch, I smoothie a tuna fish sandwich. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yum! I love you, Mom. Make this every day. Mm. Oh, and Jean, here's your lunch, honey. Pepperoni pizza, chicken pom pomodora, and a cheerleader of soda. That's about... Hang on, don't fall. What's that? It's a surprise for Gene. I designed a cheer stunt for his squad. He's gonna love it. Uh, Lynn, do you think with Gene you're being just a little suck-uppy? Suck-uppy? I am not a suck-up, and I don't play favorites with my kids. I love them all, even the ones who aren't special. Yeah, that's my son Gene down there. Oh, my gosh, he looks just like you. Well, he's doing my pig wheel. I'm a cheerleader. Yay, Gene! You're my favorite again. Mama loves you, baby! Lynn, this is crazy. Gene is way up there. There's no way that's safe. Woo! Okay, everybody, now we're gonna roll in a big wheel. We go on my count. One, two... That wasn't me. Oh, no. They're gonna fall. Gene! So... Last place. Mm-hmm. And you got a trophy. You get a trophy for last place? Yeah. At least no one was killed, right? Nope. So that's also good. I don't care if I'm okay. Carry me off. It's more dramatic. <laughs> sorry I said you weren't a cheerleader, Mom. I'm sorry, too, Gene. I was trying to cheerlead through you. on top, spinning another kid around like a windmill. Go on. I call it the Daffy Dutchman. Stop. Let's give it a shot right now. Squad, Mom, walk us through it. No. Ready. Okay. No. I guess we actually have to do synchronized swimming now. Tina, this is the woman who chewed your food for you when you had your tonsils out. We're not going to have to lift a finger. Okay, you two, lift your fingers. Synchronized swimming starts at your fingertips and ends with your tippy toes. I like it. It holds things in in all the right places. Why is Jean wearing a girl's suit? Because otherwise we wouldn't look synchronized. All right, everyone in the pool, come on. Whistles are for lifeguards only. Sorry. Thank you. Mom, I mean, uh, coach? Before we dive in, maybe we could watch you do a few moves. We're visual learners, right, guys? Yeah, like Jennifer Beals on Flashdance. She had to watch a lot of welding before she got good. I love Flashdance. Okay, I see your point. This is called the egg beater kick. Looking good, Mom. I'm learning a lot from looking. See, 
Not so bad. I could get used to this. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Not drowning. That could change. Please don't lean on the... Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, the bowl is hot. I can't do burgers and ice cream by myself. Dad's freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Totally freaking out. Shut up! Okay, shh, shh, shh. I'm gonna go change. Me too. I'm not. How was swim practice, Lynn? Good! The kids will be ready to get in the water any day now. They haven't gotten in the water yet? They're visual learners, Bob. It's a scam. Tina, good. Louise, eh. Uh, Jean, get to back a little. Back, back, up, down, side, side. Go, go. And time. Brushes down. Yuck! What was that stuff? Toothpaste. So that's toothpaste. All right, now hurry up and floss like you've been flossing every day for the past six months. Go. We don't have any floss. We all agreed not to get food between our teeth. Maybe Dr. Yap won't notice. Oh, he'll notice. Dr. Yap notices everything. He's like an eagle soaring through your mouth. You know, I think I'm going to sit this one out today. Not so fast, Miss Missy. Those teeth are gonna get cleaned twice a year until Dr. Yap stops taking our insurance. Why do we even have to get our teeth cleaned? What kind of a racket is that? Louise, we know you hate going to the dentist, but come on, can we have this go smoothly just one time? Sure, sure. Let me go get my coat. She's gonna lock herself in her room. Don't make me tackle you. Go. <laughs> got her foot. Damn it. I can't believe my baby ran away. We haven't found her yet, but we're going to. I don't know. She is pretty small when she crouches down. She could be anywhere by now and in need of semi-urgent dental care. She could have fallen into a crevice. Do we have those, Bobby? How deep are they? Oh, God. She has to come home. I mean, she's nine years old. It's not like she's thought this through. Hello? Louise, is that you? Are you dead? Oh, I'm alive and well, and I plan to stay that way. And don't bother tracing this call, because I'm not going to be on long enough. Louise, honey, come home. Only if you call off that lunatic, Dr. Yap. Louise, it's your father. Just come home and get the stupid filling. Sorry, Dad, that's not going to happen. So, uh, oh, jeez, I guess this is goodbye, not how I imagined it. What? Goodbye? What do you mean? We're your family. Well, Mom, sometimes these things just don't work out. No, Louise, Louise don't, don't go. Oh. Gail, it's Linda. Hey, Lynn, it's me, Gail. Yeah, I, I know, hon. I called you. Oh, okay. Listen, have you seen Louise? Yeah, she's here at my place. Oh, thank God. Bob, she's at Gail's. Yeah, it's that scheduled visit I didn't know about. She ran away, Gail. <gasps> oh, my. Where'd she go? She's at your house, hon. Oh, right, right. She's afraid of the dentist. She got a cavity, and she doesn't want to get a filling. Well, who does? Okay, well, uh, we'll come pick her up, but don't tell her or she'll run. Oh, good thinking, Lynn. You're the smart one, I'm the hot one. No. That little dental dodger. How come Louise gets to run away? She doesn't get to run away. I want to run away. Yeah, I could stand to run away. It could be chapter four of my memoir, right after chapter three, going to the dentist. No one else is running away. We just need Louise to get that filling. Good luck with that. Maybe it's time for a little creative parenting. Wait, what do we do, Lynn? Bribe her to get the filling? Bribe Louise? We don't have that kind of money. But if she lost a bet... I don't know. What's the bet? Pack your bags, kids. You're running away, too. Yay! Yay! So this whole situation is absurd. Hey, you gotta fight crazy with crazy. Well, Louise guessed this from your side of the family. You don't think I know that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> We're gonna have to make our baby feel some pain. Oh, wow. Y you did it, Louise. How about a victory breakfast of ice cream? Thanks, T. That's a great idea. We had to do it. It was the only way. <laughs> you gonna finish that? Tina helped us cheat. What? Mom. Sorry, it's true. We cheated because we love you, honey. Yeah. Oh, that is disgusting. I hate you guys right now. I can't believe it. Louise, you gotta get that filling. I've 